would like to talk about the iconic easy armchair designed by Pierre Jean Marais. After the partition of India, Nehru, the Prime Minister, wanted to create a new modern city that would be, as he said, a new town, symbolic of the freedom of India, unfettered by the traditions of the past. His vision was to make India more modern than the modern West. And so he commissioned Le Corbusier to create Jamliga, a new utopian city. It was Le Corbusier's most ambitious project involving residential and industrial areas, including government buildings. This project saw monumental architecture and cultural growth and significant modernization. Jandigarh was going to be a symbol of the new India, a city that would unite the social classes and embrace modernism. After taking on the project, Le Corbusier, among others, hired his cousin, Pierre Jean Marais, to design the city's furniture that would be in sync with his vision of the top architecture. Pierre Jean Marais designed furniture for the entire complex using inexpensive, locally sourced Burma teak, which was insect and humidity resistant. Jean Marais' simple functional designs, which were robust and sturdy, were made by local craftsmen using bamboo, iron rods, rope, caning, cotton and upholstery. This is the easy armchair. That was one of the pieces which was constructed in large quantities. The seat is both classical and modern, as well as being sturdy and practical, adapting to the climate with its airy cane rod on the seat and the backrest. It has distinctive V-shaped legs which give it a solid aesthetic which has now become its defining feature. It was quite important that Jean Marais embraced a genuine Indian perspective and was fully in touch with the country and its rituals. For instance, he made sure not to use cowhide other than from cows that had died naturally, so as not to offend any religions. He drew inspiration from the local traditional craftsmanship and put together ingenious pieces of furniture. Fifty years later, when people started to gravitate towards more contemporary designs, the Jean Marais chairs were sold as scrap to local auctions for very little money. You can see from this picture the chairs just piled up and thrown out. It was designers like Eric Tuchelin that saw value in Jean Marais' discarded chairs and started to buy them up and renovate them. Since the chair, since the chair has been rediscovered, it's found global recognition. It's a particular favourite of Belgian designer Axel Revoot and French architect Joseph Durand. A chair that was once common and made in vast quantities has now become an icon iconic piece of furniture with designers and celebrities selling for thousands of pounds. Thank you.